Hey YouTube, it's your girl Davina Love back with another video. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing, my busy bee? Staying busy, I hope. Mm-hmm. Keeping it sexy, child. We try to always, darlings, always gotta keep it sexy. Well, what are we doing today? I'm doing a collab with my girl Just Jessica, and we are doing a look using our new Lily Posh Pride collection. Mm-hmm. Now, they pretty. We ain't gonna lie about that. We they got some we got some pretty colors in here, okay? I have already played with the green one and I showed y'all I didn't show you how I did the look, but I did use this one in my first video doing the unboxing. So I figured I would use this set of four in this video and then when just can I do another video or another look because there's you know there's nine colors including glitter so we got to I figure incorporate a lot more different colors because of the glitter you know the glitters were for me I got a neon green and a baby blue and a we both got the same um, mixed medium one but these ones I don't think they need all that jazz from the palettes with them does that make sense so and I did tell y'all in the unboxing that this makeup collection, y'all, came with some super instructions. Okay. So without a, it tells us right off the back, we got to use this very sticky primer. And so that's what I'm looking for. I don't know why it's taking me so long to find it. It should have just been sitting right here, but you know how that goes. And yeah, we're going to just jump on in this bad boy and do a look. I found out what the what the scent of the highlighter was. It is caramel, and you're like, "Why you got your highlighter in a baggie, child?" That caramel smell was real strong, so I put it in here with a silica to kind of dry out some of that moisture of the smell. She's she's still strong, but she's beautiful. All oh, oh my goodness, to get one of those and and if I think Teresa's dead gets a hold of one of them, you know how she says it. Uh, how shiny certain things are. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I believe, too. I am an alien slut in that highlighter. Beaming to the gods. It is gorgeous. So I'm going to use some Conceal It by LA Color to prime my eyes and also to lay down these shades because Lord knows you do. You need a sticky, sticky base and then you need to build up the color and then move on you know what I mean we can't just it, we just can't we can't do we can't we can't play with these like they're normal eyeshadows they're not normal shadows at all and it isn't even the fact that they're pigments they're just they're their own entity I ain't gonna lie to y'all so we gonna be messy because we have enough foundation on so we can be messy All right, that should do. We're not going to set it because we may have to add more. Okay, because I haven't played with these ones yet. Like I said, I played with only the, uh, ooh, got a hangout, uh, greens. How are y'all doing? I hope y'all doing very well. Don't mind me. I have been, I've been in my own world. Kind of not feeling too good. But, you know, I love y'all and I need to be on here because this is what keeps me going. But don't mind it. I'm under doctor's care again. We're going to go in with that purple shade. And as you see, she very faint. She very, 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 very faint. I'm using my new Texaco. Um, Texaco US. I believe that's what they're called. Uh, brushes that I got from Amazon. From the Amazon dealer. On Instagram. Just to, you know, play with them more. And they're doing exactly the way I expected. You know, they work very well. It's a 16-piece brush set for $18. I'll leave it linked in my description box. I mean, it's a nice set. I'm not going to lie. And it's a fluffy blender. So I'm just adding that to my, my version of a crease. 
just to build that up. So when I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, it's gonna take me a minute. So I'm gonna build that cup, up, this color up on both eyes, and I'll be right back. Okay. So now that I got that on, built up as best I can, I'm gonna dip into that burgundy shade, and I'm gonna go just above it to warm it all up, and to try to blend it out just a little bit. Cause I'm not trying to lose all the color. Cause that's the thing about this pigment. It just seems to want to go away. And that's what took so long to get the purple on there. But on a regular base itself, it's okay. But once you try to like blend it out, it doesn't want to blend out. So I figured this little like little butterfly ledge of mine, brow line, that would be the perfect amount to incorporate this burgundy shade, the fuchsia shade. And now that I look at it on my skin, it's more fuchsia. I think it would be really pretty as a butterfly, don't you? So, as you see, I have to build up the color, stamp it on. That's the thing with Libby Poshes, they are very much on a learning curve. I've dealt with a lot of pigments before, but hers are like no other that I've experienced because of the the constant uh, trying to build it up and try to even it out without blending it all away type of thing. But that is more than enough right there because any more than that, it will just be ruined. So now, to not to cut too far into the crease, I'm thinking it does need a little bit of color down there just because I'm going to just add a little bit of dark brown from the 1980s palette to darken up my outer V because I just feel that I feel kind of naked right there. I'm going to use this angled brush. It's a little bit denser. And this is going to be just before I put the shimmers on. Just darken up my natural crease. Now her shimmers are wonderful. You don't have to do too much to the shimmers to get them to do what they want to do or need to do. Because they are just a touch of pigment added to the shimmer. That's why to me they always look like a bunch of silvers. But the shine and the the whole thing is just like worth it so I'm gonna just darken that crease really good now the pigment in the 1980 palette this one is not like any of the other ones either like there are there is no learning curve with this one it will just boom it's there it looks cute she blends out cute she do got a little bit of glitter with cocky hanging out in her but for the purpose of what you, I'm doing she's splendid okay just to give my a little definition I always like that very Egyptian eye so just to see what will happen we'll try it with a brush. Now one of these is a chrome, dual chrome. So I'm thinking out of which one I think it's the purple one. Let's see. We can swatch these because they actually do swatch. No. They don't look very dual to me. They look just very shimmery. Maybe the purple one. I don't know. But it doesn't seem very dual to me. But that pink one is definitely going in the first one third of the eye. And that's the thing with these with brushes. you got to build it up with the brush. Which is okay. But in all honesty, you know, I like to shine like a diamond. So let's just not play with that. I don't know. Well, 
we're gonna have to fake this crease. We're gonna have to fake it to make it. I am not tripping. You guys love a good fake cut crease, right? So as I'm trying to put it over, you can see that it's kinda just looks bright like a diamond, which is pretty. I don't know if I want it to be like that though. It's not what I envisioned, but it's working. It's working, it's working. So let's see here. Put that brush down before I stab myself. Use my other hand. Still kind of hard to work with this hand. I can give you a small hand update because of the time frame and COVID and all that. I'm healing myself and I'll have to go through physical therapy rather than having surgery. So I think that's a good thing in disguise because in all honesty, I didn't need to be cut up on my kids that need to have me going away and any issues happening in the hospital. So I think that it is kind of a blessing in disguise that I don't have to have surgery. Now in all honesty, I think she meant for this to be one or the other, you know, of a shade. Either pick the pink or the purple and put it on as a topper to these. But you know, we don't follow directions very well. I figure makeup is suggestive. <laughs> it's very suggestive, you know. So let's put this dark, let's put the purple one on the outer. And we're just going to go down low because I am still going to cut, take the crease. He's not very pretty though. I'm having to go downwards. Instead of going upwards like normal cut creases, or I don't consider it normal. I consider it however you want to do your cut crease. So I've seen all different kinds of ones. But I want it to go downwards because I want to shake this like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. So, with that in mind, I'm going to put on my base and I'll be back to finish up the face and the eyes. Okay, so I wanted to come back on and do the highlighter with you and my fake cut crease lines with you. So my version of a fake cut crease line, right? I have this liquid cat suit. It's a duo chrome from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. And because the Texamo brushes don't have a liner brush, I'm just going to use this really thin, flat angled brush. And what we're going to do is, and you can do this too with any liquid or powder foundation or shadow and we're just going to not mess this up. And just give it that indent where you want it, the shadowy, it's like a shadowy cut crease look. And we're just gonna keep building that up. Just like that. And then I could just slide a little bit of the blend out of the glitter under and just build that up. That's how I fake a cut crease most days when I can't get it to act right. I just take a little bit of liquid eyeshadow and come right in between one color to the next. Okay, and I want to show you the highlighter. The Love is Love highlighter. Look at all those different colors, the pink, the gold, the blue, and a little bit of purple and dual chrome. Wait for it. Right? Oh, in freaking G. And that's her blended out. 
Like, you could put this on with a brush, true enough, but for some reason it just melts better into the skin with your finger with the Lily Posh. I put on some fake freckles. I think, thought they would be kind of cute. And I think I'm going to do white liner. See, I'm just going to keep building it up to that the intensity that I wanted. So it can be photo ready. And then watch. It's going to go crazy right now. Just touching it. I don't want my nose to be too, too bright. But I just touched right here. And... Okay. Give me one quick...
I thought I had paused it and I didn't and it was just recording its butt off so I have finished Ooh, allergies y'all excuse me I put a little of the highlight on my lips and then I did a little bit more on my inner corners and yeah she is so pretty it gives me butterflies and I put the white eyeliner and just slid it with a little bit of black just to darken it up but thank you so much for spending time with me you know I appreciate it I really really do if you're new here, hey, I'm your girl Javina, and I love makeup, and I love everything about everything, so if you like just a little of this and a little of that, I would love for you to subscribe, join the hive, and if you're not new here, you know I see you, sis. I love y'all. Be good. Stay hydrated, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.